Hello everyone and welcome back to another Planet Coaster video. Today guys we're going to be looking at how to use the paint tool efficiently and effectively in the game. So today uh, if you've just started Planet Coaster and you want to know how to use it then great. Um, you're going to find out all how all the tips and tricks you need to know today. Um, so yeah in this new series we're going to be just teaching you guys um, if you're beginners or you know you're starting Planet Coaster or you've just bought a few DLC packs. Um, we're gonna, I'm going to be teaching you guys um, I'm going to be sharing all my knowledge of how to use some of these tools that are quite hard to use um, but yeah so here we have the paint tool which is on the terrain menu so you go down here you have painting um, you have sculpting you also have water so here you have painting um, and here you can just use the paint tool to kind of just if you want to just color your terrain so you can just have like a nice rocky terrain you can have that one or grass um, that's one use of the paint tool just to colour your terrain so if you want to have kind of a rocky area then you can have that so that's kind of one of our your, your terrain uses um, but you can also use it for coasters so if you want to build like a coaster and it has like this kind of area where all the supports have kind of just kind of been kind of just you know all the gravel moved from you know that supports and because it's kind of been worn down because that's kind of marking out the ride area because normally under coasters they normally have a bit of dirt uh, under the track or there's not really any grass or anything because they have to keep it cut so normally it's kind of this is a nice little way just to kind of have realism to it so you can add it along there and it kind of makes like maps the layout but also shows that this is the coaster area um, and nothing's kind of growing in that area which is a nice little technique you can do and it gives a little bit more realism because most coasters do have a bit of dirt under them um, also here another use so that's the coaster use um, here we also have a nice little use so you can actually mark roads in um, so you can have dirt roads or you can have tarmac roads I don't have the tarmac one on here at the moment um, but yeah you can have tarmac roads so let's say this was a dirt road uh, you can do roads and stuff with this as well um, if you don't want to use any of the build pieces or anything um, you can you can use, use you can make it your own little road um, or, or you know you want to mark some um, kind of area out so also here again um, with that kind of same thing you can also have uh, natural paths um, and then you can pick so that's our path and then you can actually pick what you want for the train and then you can have it underneath it which is a quite nice little use you can have so if you want a rocky path you just do that and so that's a nice another way of using the terrain paint again for your path without having to put any you know TMTK or build pieces down you can do it like that but also the path is accessible um, so those are three ways four ways to use it um, as I said, this is a quick video, so I'm going quite fast. Um, but yeah, here again, um, this is one of my uh, blueprint builds I made. Um, this I think it's available on Steam Workshop if you guys like it. Um, but yeah, here you can also build, use it for like paths and stuff. So you can actually build like so paths that wouldn't be accessible to guests. So if you want like a build and you want to have like a path or if it's like a character's kind of inn or their house or something you can have a little path going off in different directions showing kind of where, where this goes and then you can build it up which is kind of nice little effect of you know building your storylines and everything. So yeah you can have paths there or if you want a rocky path you can have a rocky path and you want to use the kind of the thinnest one so size I would only go for the biggest as three because otherwise they don't work too well um, but yeah that's another idea here again with this DLC build uh, you can put it around your buildings um, just to kind of add that effect of if it's in, if, if it's a building in the middle no of course this is in the middle of a city so it's not a great example um, but if we had something something like this um, and you wanted to have it so you have dirt all around it uh, if it's in the middle of nowhere then you can do that by that um, and then if you wanted a little path so you go down to one you could have that like that and that could be leading out to the stable or whatever and going out there so yeah it's a nice little technique you could do um, you can have kind of mud if it's like a stable area or a you know a pig kind of area um, 
like if it, they're quite good for farms as well because if you want to use the mud, like you have a pig barn and then you have grass around it, so you have a pig area. So you can have the pig area here and then you can have grass around it. Uh, that's quite a nice little technique you can do there as well. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much um, all the terrain. Um, and also, you can use it. Terrain paint has a lot of uses. It's very handy in the game. Um, so say I'm building, I don't know, a fountain or a waterfall or a escape, escaping kind of like a landscape or some hills for a backdrop or a, a coaster. Let's take it in Kanto, uh, the Encanto coaster for this one. Uh, if you have like that, for what I did was I would put, uh, you can actually just bring it down a little bit and then just have little hints of rock, little hints of rock, scatter it around. And then here for the big one I can put rock there and then just do little scatters and it makes it look so much more realistic because you have now like a nice little mountain um, it's also here as well this kind of detail which is easy to do um, so I say that I started off like that instead of having just that plain you can actually add some texture to it Add some rock into it, kind of scattering it everywhere like that, and then that looks so much better. Um, and it adds such a nice realistic touch. Say you're building the Grand Canyon or something, you want to have that realism. But yeah, anyway, that will pretty much wrap up this quick little tutorial paint uh, how to use the um, the, the paint tool. Um, I've ha I hope I've helped anyone who's a beginner in Planet Coaster or you've just come across the paint tool, or, you, or you've just started, um, hopefully that should help you guys out. But anyway, I'll see you guys next time for another Planet Coaster um, tutorial video. Till then, bye for now.